All right, so we're here. I'm gonna show you that this engine is really cold. As you can see, I'm touching it and there's no temperature on it. I usually just get the one squirt of gas with carburetor membrane press. Uh, I get my throttle in my hand, grab it, and pull. And that's all. And it starts the first time every time. Anyways, I'm gonna just kill it for now and uh, want to show you 10 hours I know it's not many hours for the paramotor engine uh, first maintenance is around 25 hours but what I by 10 hours you know whether or not you're gonna like the engine and what I like about this engine is a smoothness power delivery it's really linear which is a little bit different than the version one that they used to have uh, it was more of a jumpy start at the high rpms jump jumpy power this one is super linear uh, it doesn't leak any oil or any gas at any time so there's no gas leaks on it there's no oil leaks there's no black smoke coming out uh, the spark plug is clean and uh, it runs great it's comfortable to fly with it feels good on the back it's not heavy and it always starts and runs like a Swiss clock it's a super compact dependable mechanically well thought package um, exhaust is great carburetors Walboro 37 regular carburetor um, spark plug is a BR9 BR9 um, HS which is a standard spark plug uh, resistor spark plug it runs clean it runs super dependable as you can see it starts every time let's go fly it Okay, so let's talk EOS 150 and a new four-stroke EOS Quattro coming out from EOS. So, first EOS 150, you've seen from the video, pretty smooth power. I have no issues inflating. This is my wing gravity extend. I'm gonna fly in this video. Um, I cruise around 6,500 RPMs. The maximum is 9,000 RPMs. And the engine put claimed 27 horses at 9,000 RPMs, which I, I do not doubt at all that that's what it puts out. Now, there's a difference between thrust and uh, horsepower, right? Just like then there is a difference between torque and the horsepower. So as I fly, I don't feel any vibration, literally any vibration on my back. The fuel consumption is around four liters per hour. So that's the same fuel consumption as a master, okay? So some of you are going to ask me, so why wouldn't I buy a Monster instead of EOS 150 where Monster puts more power and they have the same fuel consumption? Well, you should buy whatever makes sense for you. You should buy whatever makes you happy, right? If you like Monster better, go with the Monster. If you like EOS better, go with EOS. The reason why I'm flying EOS instead of Monster I like the lightweight. I like the smoothness of it. Do I miss sometimes power? Uh, not really. 
I don't go crazy with my paramotors. I fly pretty safe. So, and what I like about DOS, craftsmanship. Craftsmanship is very high level. I would not say that about their first version one engines that they stopped producing in March of 2019. So everything newer than March 2019 is a new version with a black uh, cover for the cylinder. And they just did so many different changes. Yeah, there are upgrade kits out there that you can advance your um, version one to be close to version two, but from what I found out, lots of people do mechanics themselves. They don't tie the screws up, then the pieces start flying off into their propeller in the mid-flight and stuff like that. Sometimes people think that they're mechanically inclined when they're not. Long story short, I fly EOS 150 because it's lighter. It has plenty of power for me. It's just a smooth engine and it's designed like a Swiss clock. I really like it. Oh, there's the plane. Can you see the plane? So, I better come down a little bit. I don't know if he's seen me. Probably has. That's why he's away from me. But, I like flying visible wings. My other wing is orange and blue and red for that reason, so the pilots can see me. Anyways, Quattro is going to be a four-stroke engine made by EOS. It's been in design for almost four years and it's going to be tested for another year by various pilots around the world. You do want to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because in a couple of months I'm going to have a surprise for you. I'm just going to leave it at that. And that's all I'm really free to disclose. So, long story short, EOS 150 an awesome, awesome engine. There's Nick. He's giving me a wave with his legs. All right. That's what I like about Boise. Nick and I didn't have agreement to meet each other in the air, but here we are. So in Boise, there is always somebody flying a paramotor. Love the engine. Love the 10 hours that I've flown it. Looking forward to flying it a little bit more and doing some more tests and projects for EOS Austrian company that, as of now, in my book, rocks. I'm out.